dear students in this video we will be discussing about an another topic of measures of central tendency that is median median represents the middle value for any group it is the point at which half the data is more and half the data is less median helps to represent a large number of data points with a single data point for calculation of median the data has to be arranged in ascending order or descending order and then the middle most data point represents the median of the data let's consider an example to figure out what is median for a given set of data so we have consider a data 4 4 6 3 and 2 so firstly let's arrange this data in ascending order so starting with 2 3 4 4 and 6 so we have arranged these data in ascending order next step will be count the number of values so we have got how many uh, value how many observations we have 1 2 3 4 and 5 next there are five values next step is look for the middle value so here we have got two observation here we have got two observation and in the middle whatever we have that is median so median is equals to 4 the middle value is the median okay so this is how we calculate median so let us check out median formula for ungrouped data so first of all we need to arrange the data in ascending or descending order secondly we need to count the total number of observations that is n then we need to check whether the observation n is even or odd suppose the value of n is odd then we need to use this formula if it is even we need to use this formula okay so let us check out uh, uh, how to use this formula by considering uh, one or two examples so we have got the formula above one is for odd and below one is the formula when n is even okay so we have got a, a problem over here we have got x value and we have got value of the frequency let us rewrite it in this manner okay so very first thing that we need to do is we need to know the value of n whether it is odd or even so for checking out we need to add up all these frequencies 7 plus 18 plus 25 plus 18 plus 15 plus 10 plus 16 okay we need to add all this thing then we'll get the value of n which is 99 so what is 99 odd or even yes it is odd so you need to use this formula okay so write the formula median is equals to n plus 1 divided by 2 value or observation now you write the value of n which is 99 plus 1 divided by 2 99 plus 1 is 100 So hundred divided by two, and that is we got fiftieth observation. Now, where exactly is fiftieth observation? So over here in this table, you need to add one more column, which is for cumulative frequency. Means you need to add all the frequency. Like first one is seven. Next seven plus eighteen is twenty five. Twenty five plus twenty five is fifty. Fifty plus eighteen is sixty eight. Sixty eight plus fifteen is eighty three. 83 plus 10 is 93 and 93 plus 9 is 99 okay now you need to check out where exactly this 50th observation occurs yes over here so in this case 12 is our median okay now similarly we'll have one more example okay so we'll rewrite this thing in a tabular form and first of all we need to check the value of n over here all these values will add up 7 plus 18 plus 25 plus 18 plus 15 plus 10 plus 7 okay you add up all you will get the value of 100 so what is 100 odd or even yes it is even so you need to use this formula okay so write the formula median equals to n by 2 plus into bracket n by 2 plus 1 whole divided by 2th observation so add the value of n 100 divided by 2 plus 100 divided by 2 plus 1 div whole divided by 2th value okay now you uh, solve all, all these things 100 by 2 will be 50 so 50 plus into bracket 50 plus 1 divided by 2 so 50 plus 51th value divided by 2 you can write it 101 by 2 or 50.5 fifth value 
is the observation okay so again in the as in the previous case you need to add one more column of cumulative frequency okay 7 7 plus 8 in 25 25 plus 25 50 50 plus 8 in 68 plus 68 plus 15 83 plus 10 93 93 plus 7 is 100 okay now where does this 50.5 value will be setting up it is in between isn't it so we need to write one more column of term like first term is 1 to 7 next 8 to 25 next 26 to 50 next 51 to 68 next 69 to 83 next 83 to 90 84 to 93 and lastly 94 to 100 so where exactly this 50.5 value will be setting up yes this 50.5 value will be setting up over here as well as over here okay so for the 50th value you need to write the value of x that is 12 and for 51st value you need to write its x value that is 16 and whole divided by 2 okay so you simplify this 28 by 2 that is 14 so 14 is the median value in this case okay so this is the method how we will be calculating median value when the value of n the observation is odd or even okay now similarly we have got an another formula for grouped data okay so we shall check out that, that now so when the data is continuous and in the form of a frequency distribution the median is calculated through the following sequence of steps step number 1 is find the total number of observation that is n okay step 2 define the class size i and divide the data into different classes step 3 calculate the cumulative frequency of each class step 4 identify the class in which the median falls that is median class is the class where n divided by 2 lies step 5 find the lower limit of the median l and the cumulative frequency step 6 apply the formula for the median for the group data which is median is equals to l plus n by 2 Minus C F whole divided by F into I. So this is the formula for calculating median for group data. Okay. So we shall check out all this step with the help of an example. So we have got a problem over here. Weight in mg. 450 to 460 460 to 470 470 to 480 480 to 490 and 490 to 500 and the number of tablets. Okay. So we will rewrite this table. like this okay so we have got value of x we have got value of f fine here yeah, no need of uh, checking out the midpoint okay for median we need not to check the midpoint so you need to follow the uh, steps like step number 1 is find the total number of observation so total number of observation how will calculate will add up all this value of frequency okay 41 plus 35 plus 50 plus 44 plus 49 so whenever you add up you will get the value of n that is 219 step number 2 define the class size i and divide the data into different classes so class size means 450 to 460 what is the class size 10 460 to 470 what is the class size 10 470 to 480 10 480 to 490 10 490 to 510 10 so class size is 10 so that means i the value of i is 10 step number 3 calculate the cumulative frequency of each class so you need to add one more column for cumulative frequency so this is 41 next 41 plus 35 is 76 76 plus 50 is 126 126 plus 44 is 170 and 170 plus 49 is 219 so we have calculated the cumulative frequency step number 4 identify the class in which the median falls that is median class is the class where n divided by 2 lies so first of all we need to check out n divided by 2 that is 219 divided by 2 is equals to 109.5 so basically it lies over here isn't it between 76 to 50 the term 109.5 will be lying so this is our the uh, class where median will be actually residing so median is in between 470 to 480 fine 
next step number 5 is find the lower limit of the median class l and the cumulative frequency cf so cumulative frequency so we know that is 126 lower limit that is l is 470 next is apply the formula for median for the group data so you need to uh, add all these values in the formula so we have got a formula median x is equals to l plus n divided by 2 minus cf whole divided by f into i so you add all the values in this formula so l is 470 plus n divided by 2 is 109.5 minus cf the cumulative frequency is 126 whole divided by f is 50 multiplied by i is 10 now solve all these things 470 plus 109.5 minus 126 will be minus 16.5 divided by 50 into 10 next 470 plus you simplify this thing you will get minus 0 0.33 into 10 more 470 minus 3.3 .3 and we got the value 466.7 so this is the median over here this is how we are using the formula okay next in my previous video we have discussed about the simple mean weighted mean completed geometric mean completed harmonic mean completed in this video we have completed median and lastly we are going towards mode okay i hope you found this video helpful thank you for watching